Welcome to another Retro Crazy Mini Bite. Hopefully this is what I think it is and I only bought it just the other day from eBay. So let's get into this and see what we've got. So this is the Kevin Keegan's Electronic Action Soccer Game. I remember having one of these when I was younger. I might still own it, I just haven't come across it. However, this was on eBay. No internal sleeves or packaging. And the box has, well, seen better days. But it does have a box. Now this was listed. Oh, we'll take that off. Well, there you go. It says, many thanks for the purchase of this old game. I hope you enjoy it, all the best. And that was 30th of November, 2021. Now, this was sold for parts not working because it doesn't seem to want to power on properly. The power switch doesn't feel right, I think, was the description. And it's certainly well packaged. Apparently these are Granny Smith's apples. So this was a one or two player game. And there's the power switch. And you could have it two difficulty levels, amateur and professional. And you sat across from somebody and you had your up, down, left and right um, and your shoot buttons. All that would happen is there's little lines that would light up in red and as you moved you could move them around hopefully with the ball and take a shot try and score. It had home and away scores so you could see how you were doing against your friends. So let's pop these off to start with and we'll have a look and see what it's like. Mm, there, uh, that one is okay, that one's sprung. You should be able to see that one spring in and out, but these ones are a little bit flat. So they may not quite be putting enough pressure. So let's uh, pop some batteries in. And there's definitely no power at all. Well, let's get this apart. So just before I take these away to get washed properly, I did note, if you watch this contact point at the back, it's not actually attached. So I need to resolder this, and to do that, I need to lift this foam out of the way. Now I can get into there to resolder this contact point. So that's them all clean, looking much better. Let's put it back together. So 
So it's together enough for testing. Does it power on? Unfortunately not. Right, let's make sure we're getting the right voltage out here. So we're definitely getting voltage there. I need to find out where the power is going once it gets to here. So I'm going to pop this off just to see what happens. So I'm first going to check where the power comes in. So it looks like I may have to take this board off just to be able to trace exactly where the power goes. Well, let me pop this out first. And with the LED panel off, I can now start tracing the contacts and see if I can find a break anywhere in the wiring. So I think I've found the first issue at least, hopefully the only one. Before I show it, this wire here. It looks like it's been resoldered. I don't think I can bring it much closer. There's not a lot of solder on it and the wire you can see kicks to the side and sits above the other contact. It doesn't touch it, there's no short, but it's so close that it wouldn't take much for that to short. So I think somebody's re redone this wire. So I need to sort this. However, more importantly, when I trace the power here, I can trace the power no problem at all. It runs around the board up to here. It then goes from here across and then jump, jumps over and then into the chip, no problem. When I do this side, follow the trace round, it comes to here where the power socket is and there's nothing. Now this power socket continues on and then runs through here. So there's nothing here, but if I go back here, I get contact. Move a bit further, nothing here, contact. The track has been cut. It looks like somebody's resoldered this. And hopefully you can see down in here, the track's been cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean up some of the trace, run a wire, resolder, sort this wire, and we'll take it from there. We'll see what happens. Apologies, I think I forgot to hit record there. However, I've reset both the wires, cleaned them up. I've got a nice piece of component leg. Which is now firmly soldered down. Which hopefully is now completing that trace. You can see those wires now sit at their proper angle and now definitely have a gap between them. So let's see if we now have a trace running round. So first I'm going to check, make sure we have no short, which we don't. Secondly, I now have power running around the board, which we didn't before. So I'm going to take the risk, resolder this back on and see if we get any life. A 
Okay, so now that's all back together, let's see if this is going to work. I see some display. Right, let me pop the lights off. So that's showing 45, which is 45 minutes aside. Does it run? Forty-three minutes, forty-two minutes, so it's kind of working. I am really not very good at this. Yep. No, no. Back to me. Yep. It's doing exactly as it should do. Superb. So all it leaves now is to clean up the casing, the top half, and finish assembly. So there we are, it's all back together, it's cleaned as much as I can, it's a little bit yellowed so it may need retro brighted, but it's done. And it's on and it's working and <laughs> it brings back so many memories, bit scary. Obviously for you guys in the States, this is soccer, not uh, football, but we know it as football here. Although it is called soccer. Now the box itself isn't in the best of conditions. It's kind of, all apart. What I'm going to do with this is gently massage the cardboard so it's flat. Inside areas like this that are torn, I will reinforce it with some tape where they won't be seen. A lot of this I may well get away with ironing just to heat treat and try and flatten this and then I will use some double-sided tape just to reattach the two halves of the box. I don't have the inserts, unfortunately, but that will bring the box back to a usable condition. So there we go. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please remember to like and subscribe, especially like, that helps drive the, the, the views and if you do like this well hopefully we'll see you on the next mini bite or maybe on the main retro crazy cheers